Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Season 2, Episode 8 of Mandalorian, the finale. Last we saw, we were left with Mandalorian giving Gideon a speech. He was giving him the exact same speech Gideon gave him at the end of Season 1, the finale of Season 1. Said, you don't know how much that thing means to me, you don't know what you have in possession of, similar things to that. Not word for word, but you get what I'm saying. They connected into his radio, and they got to like give him a little jab and they're like we're coming we're coming for the baby you got grogu that's the other thing guys in two episodes ago we went to that place where they had to sit grogu on the pedestal that was surrounded by a rock formation ahsoka said take him there and maybe a jedi will sense him and come looking for him a lot of theories have been going around of recent especially this week and people are thinking that that jedi is going to be Luke Skywalker and that there's something he possibly does to intentionally or unintentionally turn Grogu, Baby Yoda, into a Sith Lord or a Dark Force user. Who knows? That's just theories being spit out. But a lot of people are thinking, and I kind of agree with it, there's not a whole lot of Yoda species around. All we've seen is Yoda and Yada. I'm assuming this is their child because we haven't seen a whole lot of them. And the Force is always about balance. We have Yoda, who is the greatest of the good, teaching everybody for almost a thousand years. So it would make sense that there'd be an evil version of Yoda. I don't know. Besides that, we had Bill Burr help us blow up this place. The old guy that was his commanding officer ends up being there. He shoots him in the head, starts this huge uprising. The Mandalorian didn't have his helmet on for half of the episode. So there goes his coat out the window. Bill Burr did say, I killed everyone that saw you and I never saw nothing, but it's still a technicality. Someone saw him and he broke his rule. I want to see where this all goes. Do we see Luke Skywalker? People said Luke Skywalker must be in this or might be in this, but he'd have to be de-aged. This is back five years, six years after Return of the Jedi. So he's like late 20s, I guess. I don't know. We're jumping in. You want to see full unedited episodes of this and other shows I do? If you're seeing this on YouTube, it is in full, in total, on Patreon, as well as Clone Wars and Season 1 of Mandalorian. Check it out. Patreon link at the end. If not, we're jumping in. This is Season 2, Episode 8, Mandalorian. We're being boarded. How many life forms? None. None. Coming back for blood. You had your hands full with one. Let's see how you do against a platoon. Jump into an escape pod and get the hell out of there. Sasha might be dead, guys. I feel like she's the most Don't expendable. Worry. They are ready. Somebody's coming to their aid. It's an X-Wing. One X-Wing? Great. Guys, Same. tell me it's Luke Skywalker. Why is an X-Wing silently coming in? He senses him. It's gotta be. Who else could it be in an X-Wing? You're gonna see a dude kill all these things. I want it to be. It's a Jedi. It looks like Luke in his dark suit from Return of the Jedi. Guys, it's the green. He's got the black glove. His hand was chopped off or could it? No, it's gotta be Luke, right? Yeah, it can't be. My God, I knew Sasha was gonna die. I said it. Is it gonna be like the Vader fight in Rogue One where he just slices him up? He just dismantled them like they were nothing. Jedi. Come, little one. I can't believe it actually happened. He wants your permission. Hey, Gor. He's one of your kind. I'll see you again. This is blowing my mind. All right, pal. It's almost like he gave up on his beliefs. I'm not supposed to show my face and there's R2! But what happened then? Because we never heard of Grogu. May the force be with you. 
I want it to end right when the doors drop. Ta uh, Jabba's Palace. We're at Jabba's Palace. Bib Fortuna. Bib Fortuna got fat. Oh. It's just fennec. I love they got Jabba's Palace. His friggin... I'm praying they're trying to get in with the underworld, like the the Hondos and the Huts. Boba Fett came back to, for revenge. Boba's gonna rule Hut's palace. I love everything about it, but how has this never come up? I gotta show you the toys. There's so many. The, <laughs> the book of Boba Fett. Coming December 2021, what the hell is that? Guys, what a finale. That might be the best episode of the entire show. I don't know if it's because of the feels and the nostalgia behind it all. I wish that I didn't see any of those theories or, or rumors. I literally didn't think it would happen. People have been pitching that Luke Skywalker will appear in this f since before the season two even started. But I'm like, no, like Mark Hamill is probably on the set and they randomly made up rumors. This happens all the time where people pop up on set and they have nothing to do with it, but you just want to believe they do. So I was willing to buy into the rumors enough to read them because I thought this is not likely. I mean, it does kind of line up with the timeline, but I'm thinking in the future trilogy, Luke Skywalker's this old hermit. He talked about why he became that guy. People were saying maybe he does something wrong and turns Grogu into a evil version of Yoda. But that wasn't why he said he was all messed up inside. In the future trilogy, he explained why he was. It was because of different reasons. But this could have led to it. And maybe he just didn't want to say. Maybe he had to keep it secret. Gideon said, all I wanted from this little Grogu dude was his blood. And he goes, I got his blood. You could take him. Obviously, he was lying, but he still probably does have his blood and they could still do things and manipulate the blood and do crap with it. People were saying back at the laboratory episode, which was like halfway through the season, that there were these creatures in like back to tank looking cylinders, they looked like Snoke type people. People are thinking you take the blood out of Grogu and you turn him into a giant like Sith Lord or, or something. Like you could take the blood out of these guys and you could turn them into or you create Snokes. You can make an army of Emperor type people like Snoke. That's why people were saying that Snoke was this old, decrepit version of Palpatine. People thought it was Palpatine sickened and destroyed, but it wasn't that. It was them making new baddies, I guess you could say. All I know is, guys, that was absolutely crazy that Luke Skywalker jumped in and appeared in there. The second they showed an X-Wing fly in, you knew it was happening, but I needed it to unfold. I needed it to happen. Part of me was thinking, who else could this be? But there is no one left. This is five or six years after Return of the Jedi, they even showed the outstretched hand. That was the hand that Luke got cut off. He was wearing the black like Return of the Jedi, the green saber, everything. They de-aged him. It looked good, but it looked like they were trying to have him not move. But then again, he's a Jedi. He's very composed and ready for action. So, I mean, I can't really fault them for that. Luke doesn't know these people either. Why would he be all buddy-buddy and smiles? He doesn't know any of these people. If it was like Han or Leia and stuff like that, maybe it would make a difference. But if this is like... Uh, great. I just love it. R2 rolls in. He basically tells the Mandalorian, listen, you're a bonded with him, but I got to teach him the ways and then you guys could reunite. But what has happened to this dude? Where is Grogu been? Because we have had 30 years in the future trilogies of things and lore and stuff like that. And we don't know where he went. So Luke must have done something wrong or this is how the future trilogy starts with them using the blood to make Snoke's or evil force using people. Gideon is still alive. Now we have our crew. And then at the end, that is amazing that they go back to Jabba's palace and they literally have Bib Fortuna. I have action figures. Bib Fortuna is the Twi'lek looking dude that used to be Jabba's slave, basically. He was his right-hand man, but he got smacked around a lot. He is now bloated and fat five, six years later and running Jabba's palace. 
Boba Fett comes in and asks no questions, murders everyone, sits on the throne, and then it says, The Book of Boba Fett coming in December 2021. Amazing, amazing stuff. I just finished the episode. I jumped right into this rant. I don't know what else. The Dark Troopers haven't seen him in Clone Wars yet. I got like 10 episodes left. I'll probably see all the things I don't understand in this yet. will all come to fruition and I will, I'll get it all once I see it all when it all unravels in Clone Wars. But I don't know if there are things I don't get yet. Maybe this is stuff that wasn't explained. Like for instance... I wasn't exactly sure that you had to fight the person with the Darksaber. Bo-Katan now sees that Mandalorian Armando has the Darksaber, so now she's got to kill him. I feel like that's why at the end he removed his helmet. It was a lot of different things. It was sort of to show that I care so much for this child that I want him to see my face. I don't care about any rules. The lore doesn't matter. I just want Grogu to see me because he's like my baby. He's like my kid, and I want him to experience and see my face for what it is. But that also could lead into other things. It can make Bo-Katan think, you took your helmet off. Yeah, well, times have changed, and we got to start changing the rules. Maybe Bo-Katan will let him be the leader because he's obviously proven he is a good dude, and you want a good dude running Mandalore. We also, I just found out about... Satine being Bo-Katan's sister in Clone Wars. Satine is Obi-Wan Kenobi's ex-girlfriend, so to speak, from way back when. So I know that now. That's a thing. I guess it wasn't that huge. It was huge when I found out in Clone Wars, but in this, it doesn't really matter yet. Except they are making like a Boba Fett show and an Obi-Wan Kenobi show and an Ahsoka Tana show. All right, guys, I gotta, I'm got i going to end it here. We'll talk more in the chats. You guys want to see full unedited episodes of this and other shows I do? Patreon link in front of me. I have all of them done. Mando Season 1 and 2 and Clone Wars, the entire series. Check it out. Patreon link in front of me. Full unedited episodes. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.